What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Rich and Fonz, your favorite couple. We back with another Monday Night Muck Bang. Mm -hmm. About to get it popping. What we got for the people today? So, as y'all know, as y'all requested, y'all wanted to hear about our relationship, how we met, all that juicy good stuff. So, that's what we're going to give y'all tonight. We gonna we gonna get into it. Are you ready? They I'm not ready. sleeping on the couch. Yeah. So let's talk about what we got to eat and drink. It looks that way. Hmm? Boy, I'm sleeping in bed. You sleeping on the couch? No, you sleep on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about the food. So we got the hookup from my cousin, cause as y'all know, we is in upstate New York and my hometown Schenectady, five one eight in the building. And um, <laughs> come on. No, I don't want that. <laughs> and um my cousin makes some dinners or whatever so you know we had to support while we here i was all the way in texas seeing her plates every day jealous and angry because i know she can cook her ass off and this food is about to be smack so we got some fried chicken macaroni and cheese collard greens and some cornbread muffins about to get it popping and good. of course all right I know, you're supposed to wait for me. We didn't even say grace or nothing. Jesus. Because you're selfish. And of course, you know me, I got to have my little drink or whatever. So I got some coconut Ciroc with some pineapple soda. And I got some pineapple soda. Can't have a, a mukbang without something to drink. Yeah, you can't watch it. And of course, I also got my Stella Artois. Stella Artois. Which I'll have to open later because I can't find a can opener. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, let's get into it. Let's get into it. About to get juicy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so how do we meet, Richard? Well, Rich, how do we meet, Rich? Mm. I haven't had room for so long. Mm. Oh, I forgot. All right. Um, we met on a wonderful dating site called Jacked. <laughs> maybe Jack, maybe Grinder. I don't know. One of those. Yeah, we met on Jacked, and um, yeah, those were really good days. Yeah. When I used to be able to go on jacks. <laughs> I'm kidding. So yeah, we met on Jacked, which if you need to know what Jacked is, you know what Jacked is. If you don't know what Jack is, you don't need to know what Jacked is. Yeah, you don't. You really don't. It um go ahead, you want something about Jack? Uh, nope. Oh okay. Pretty sure they know what it is. Most people. Mm. Y'all hear that crunch? It's Michelle, you did your thing. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, -hmm. mm. Mm. Moment of silence. Ooh, I'm getting hot. <laughs> so. Before we go any further, I'm going to need you to stop what you're doing. Go subscribe to this channel. Make sure you hit that bell so you can be notified when we drop them fire videos. So I'm going to give you a second. Go ahead. Go do that now. And we back. So. Oh, that was good. So we met on. Taste that. So we met on Jack. Yup. And Jack's. Like, when you live in one area for a long time, you know everybody who's on these apps. So, I don't even know why I was still going on the apps. It was just like, when I was bored, let me just go on here and mess with people and listen to all the vulgar things people would say to me and stuff. So, <laughs> anyways, um, I seen this little, light-skinned, pretty boy, and I'm like, who the f*** is this? Like, where did he come from? So reach out, whatever, like, oh yeah, let's hang out, let's chill, whatever case may be, and uh, we met at Central Park here in Schenectady. No, so the first day, actually, 
the first night I met you, we didn't we didn't go anywhere. I went in your car. You're like, I think you were at work. You were on your work break. Always doing stuff at work. Yeah, you were on your work break, and then you came, and you was like, I just want to link up with you. I just want to meet you. So we um, came and we yeah. did uh, talk in your car, or whatever. And you're like, you hungry? You want something to go? Want to go get something to eat or something? Uh, no, like cool. like up. You want some food, baby? Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, no, I'm cool. So we sat and talked in your car for a little bit. And you're like, you ain't gonna block me or anything, right? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, no, no, no. Because you was fine. Like, the finest person that I saw. So. Well, that's a hell of a standard. He's on Jack B. Ugly. Yeah. Yeah. So you was the finest. Well, you, you were fine. <laughs> <laughs> you are fine still. But yeah. So from that day, then we kept talking. And that's when we met at Central Park. And what happened at Central Park? Why you don't tell him? Because you. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to tell that story all the time. No, I don't. Yes, you do. So, but I do like the story. Because it was a great, 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 great night. Mm -hmm. So we met at Central Park. And... There's like this huge stage and like an area where people could sit when they do concerts and stuff, outdoor concerts, really nice area. Put up, pause. He's nasty. <laughs> and you just as nasty. So anyways, <laughs> we met at this Central Park and we just walked around the park and talked or whatever. And then I was like, come on, let's go over here to the stage where we can sit down. So we sat on the stage and we just had a sexy time. And it was like... It was just a lot of fun because we was outside. It was dark. Don't get me wrong. We're not like crazy nudist people, even though I want to be. Um, yeah. But, you know, it was dark. There was nobody else in the park. If there was, they weren't like right where we were anyway. So, yeah, we had sexy time. And it was a lot of fun. Outside in the park, on the stage, at Central Park. And, and then we left. And I don't know what else happened after that. After that, it, things just got really, really messy. We'll put it that way. No, there were some a few times where we went to, like, I went to your mom's house and stuff like that. But we don't have to tell that story. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was nice for a while. And then that's when things got messy. So when I met Alfonso, I have not been on Jacked or dealing with anyone, not speaking to anyone, because I was in a relationship. And at the time that we met, I was in this other relationship for like two, two and a half years. I was with this person. And to say the least, it was not a good relationship. It was very toxic. The other person was like a super cheater and just like nonstop, thing after thing after thing after thing. And I finally was like, I'm done. I can't do this no more. And then that's when I started, you know, jumping back out there, talking to people, whatever. And that's when I met Fonzo. So my ex um, found out through Facebook and like word of mouth and the little LGBT community in, in Schenectady or Albany, wherever, that I was in another relationship. I'm sure he's seen like how cute this person was and was like, oh my God, like I'm really about to lose this person. So. Um, out of the blue, I get a phone call and they're like crying and I can't believe you do this to me. It's only been a week. How could you move on and da, 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 all that stuff. So okay. of course I've been with that person for like years, like the feelings were very strong and, um, I had a very tough decision to make to say the mm -hmm. least. So what I tried to do in <laughs> the player that I am, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> we told y'all we gotta get into it. We gotta get into it. So what I tried to do was I tried to talk them into. No, hold up. Let me also explain it from my point of view. So okay. this is his side of the story. I mean, it's the truth, but I don't know. I, I get aggravated every time I hear his side <laughs> because okay. So finish yours and then I'll tell my side. You sure you want me to finish? Cause you just cut me off. I don't think you want me to okay, tell my so story. Okay, so let me also. He's gonna finish, but my side of it was. He did it sneakily. <laughs> so, from my point of view, we had plans to go to mm. the casino or whatever. So, he was like, oh, um, no, mind you, I went to, before that, we went to your grandma's house. And you were telling me you still didn't talk to him. Mm -hmm. And 
you were saying something about you never told me well you said that you gave him a dog or whatever y'all got the dogs together and then um you was like i i don't talk to him anymore or whatever and then your grandma accidentally was like one day I, I, I was at your grandma's house and your grandma accidentally was like oh no names yeah she was like oh so uh how is um how is the, the dog, dog. Yeah. <laughs> and i'm like wait i put two to two together i'm like his ex has the dog and i'm like oh hmm but <laughs> you were saying something about you. you went to go visit a friend but you didn't really go into details i'm like oh okay um <clears throat> so whatever we go to the casino no we're no. planning to go to a casino and you were supposed to pick me i've been texting you that whole day and all of a sudden i'm getting ready to get off of work and that's when you're like oh can a friend come and i'm like oh yeah sure i get in the car and then it's it was my ex yes so from the other side of the thing so yes my ex called me all this crying da, 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 da. of course i have feelings for them and i'm like okay maybe this was like the wake-up call that they'll stop doing all the dumb shit so I'm like, but in my mind, I'm like, I just met this person who I really, really, really like, like is super affectionate and loyal, like all about me, our relationship, like show me something that in my other relationship was the biggest thing that was missing, the biggest thing I had a problem with, like it was all right there, right? So I really did not want to take a chance, but you know, we make stupid decisions. That was probably one of the worst decisions of my life was to go back to my ex, but anyways, I talked to my ex and I'm like, yeah, you know, but I'm not just going to do that to Fonzo. Like, you know, he's he's a super sweet, nice person. Like, I'm not just going to be like, oh, I'm not talking to you no more. I'm going back to my ex. So my ex actually was their idea. Like, oh, maybe we could just all be in a relationship. Mind you, my ex was, like I said, super ambitious when it came to sex. Like, it's all they cared about in life. So the idea of them being in a relationship that was a threesome... <clears throat> They were all for it. They um, they talked me into it a little bit, and then I pick I pull up to Fonzo's job with my ex in the car, and then we had to talk Fonzo into being a part of this three yes. person relationship. Oh, I'm gonna stop you there too because it was weird because you got out of the gas station like he was like, "Hey, my name is such and such," and I'm like, "That sounds name sounds familiar." And then we go to like the I think you stop at a store or whatever. You get out, and then he starts saying like. Oh, he was going to break up with you, and I told him not to. And I'm like, what? I'm looking there, like, I'm shaking. I'm like, what Lies. the hell is going on? I don't know. That was just the weirdest moment. So, like, I felt, I don't know. It was just really weird, really frustrating. But, yeah, then y'all were kind of, like, talking about how great it would be. So, I felt like, uh, I don't know anyone out here. I don't, you know, I got connected with you. And... It was just like there. So, anyways, so, you could continue. So we, it was weird. I felt really weird because I'm driving. My ex is in the front seat. Fonz was in the back seat. No, I'm in the entire way. No, the, there, I was in the front seat. And okay. then he was in the back. But it just was back, weird yeah. to me because the entire way, my ex and and Fonzo are just talking the entire time, like. It's gonna be so great. This is what we're gonna. This is what my ex was saying. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be like, so great. We can do this. We can do that. It's gonna da, da, da. like. And I'm just sitting there like, holy shit, this is really happening. This is really happening. So, anyways, we get to the casino. We have some drinks. We had like a great night. For the most part, it was weird because we were like giving each other nicknames. Like, all right, I'm gonna be daddy. <laughs> You're going to be baby and you're going to be babe. So then that way, you know, if we're like sitting around and we, we need something, we know which person we're calling, right? So we're all giving each other, I'm daddy, this is baby, and my ex was babe. Since Fonzo, um, no, you're not the youngest. I don't know why, but I anyways. was the youngest. He was the youngest. He was younger than me yes. by like a year, I think. So we all gave each other the next thing. We had a really good night. Like we showered and like all washed each other. It was like super crazy. Like something from a movie. I was like in seventh yeah. heaven now that for I like a night. Back at it. That was so weird. <laughs> yeah. So my ex is like, um, I'm going to get our clothes out. And then Fonz is like, all right, and I'm going to iron all yeah. the clothes. Because Fonzo loves to iron. Like I, I don't understand. Iron. I hate, I never iron my clothes. My grandmother ironed my clothes when I was a kid and I've never done it again. But anyways. Fonzo's like ironing the clothes. 
my ex is doing something else, I'm doing this, and we all like, all right, let's all do our thing so that we can get ready to go out. We went down to the casino, we all played the machines together, everybody sitting on my lap, just made me feel like Mac Daddy. And um, mind you, we were drinking. Mm -hmm. So long story short, um, the next day we weren't sober anymore. And I mean, we weren't drunk anymore. And that's when it was like, like I looked and seen these two in the bed together. And I was like, what is going on in the world? And it was just like, we were there for a whole weekend. No, no. So it got really awkward. No, for me, it got awkward because, so we, we did fall, all fall asleep in the same bed. And then I was asleep. Yeah. You were doing weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> then, um, I wake up. And well, I I hear you like get up out of the other bed or whatever, and you grab him. So for me, that kind of stirred it. I'm like, what the heck? Like, so now they're together or whatever. So this was the thing, to be completely honest. So like I said, I was in a relationship with this person for yeah. multiple years. Like, what I thought was love, I was like madly in love with this person, and they were always cheating. So now. We have this situation where, like, I come out of the bathroom and, like, these two are together in the bed. I've never, like, knowing that my ex was cheating, I've never seen them, I've never seen him in the act, like, with another person. So when I came out and see these two in the bed, you know, just rubbing each other's back or whatever kinky <laughs> things they was doing. Yeah. Like, uh, get into that on camera. Um, like, in my mind, it was like a, a trigger to where it was like, you're cheating on me right now. Yeah. And I spazzed out and I like grabbed him and I'm like, come on, come in the hallway. And we went in the hallway and I basically told him like, I can't do this. We're not doing this. You do not touch him again. Like, this is crazy. Uh -uh. And um, and I was only doing it because I felt like I had to because to kind of be with you. So right. it just, I don't know. So looking back, it was just all like wrong. Yeah. Period. <laughs> but anyways, fast forward from that. So we had our little... Uh, two night, three three man relationship. Yeah, and, and um, it was it was also weird because like I saw your frustration, but I also saw his frustration, and it was like every time I tried to you know get near you, like he would throw a fit. He would like, <laughs> oh my god, it was just so weird. He would throw a fit, and I'm like, what? Can I not talk to him? Like I don't really know you. I'm connected to him, and it was it was just really weird. Like anytime, like. Let's go get water. Like he will. We would just. I don't want to go into that. But it was just really <laughs> weird. So, um, so on the way back, that's when I was like, and then also hearing them talk, they had like a lot. Being that they knew each other more, they had a lot more conversation. They had they had like things that they were talking about, talking about their past. So it was like a really awkward ride back, especially with what we just endured. So after that. It's like he wasn't even really paying me any attention. So <laughs> after that, that's when I um they dropped me off or whatever, and um I think I was like I don't want to talk to you anymore. I don't want to be in this relationship. I don't like it. I don't like that you set me up. <laughs> I was just going in, and, <laughs> and then he was just like okay, like well he said oh are you sure I love you, and I was like no I'm okay, like that's that's not what I want. So in my mind at that time, I didn't want to hurt you, right? Yeah. So like I said, I was in this relationship for like so many years to where it was like, all right, at this point, if this can't work, then I'm probably going to be with, at the time, my ex. But I'm also thinking about like, I don't want to hurt him. I don't want to, you know, yeah. break up with him and, and whatnot. So when he came to me, it was like, oh, no, I can't do this. This isn't going to work. To me, it was like, okay, this is my easy way out. I don't have to be the one to be like, I can't do this anymore. You know what I mean? So I was just like, okay, no problem. Don't worry about it. <laughs> That's when I went on the whole binge of like being suicidal. I had, um, I got mad tattoos. And it was, I don't know. I don't really want to go into that. But it was like, I felt like I lost someone that I truly care about. The one person who was looking out for me moving to New York. So it was just kind of weird. But, yeah. And then... I love you. I love you too. But, yeah. Then, what else happened? Then, so, fast forward now. So, like I said, I stayed in this relationship with my ex who was super toxic, super disloyal, just everything negative. Um, and 
uh, you know, continue cheating, just all the same BS that I was going through before. So of course I regretted the decision that I made, but at that point, um, you know, I reached out to Fonzo and I'm like, you know what, I'm done with this and da 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 da. I really, really like you. We should, you no. know. Before that, you, we were still, um. Yeah, I was still sneaking out and coming to see Fonzo. Yeah, and he, <laughs> he used to always call me. Is he, like, some, sometimes I would block his number and he'll call from a different one. He'll be like, is he there? Is he there? <laughs> and I'm like, no, I, I haven't talked to him. I, I don't like it. I, I hate him. I like that whole <laughs> thing. And he was like, well, if you see him, tell him I'm looking for him and da da da. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Mm. <laughs> so it was just really weird. Yeah, so we definitely did continue to see each other for a little while. And then y'all, I guess, broke up. And then I saw, well, you told me that y'all broke up. Mm-hmm. We probably did. We used to break up. Like and that we, it day. was at Pride or whatever. <laughs> So you told me you broke up, and then you were coming to um, to that lady's house I was staying with, and um, mm-hmm. or whatever. And then I see you at the park or whatever, and I see him at the same time, <laughs> and y'all were like all up on each other. And I'm like, Ugh. like what the hell? <laughs> like what the hell? I'm like not this shit again. <laughs> so I don't know. That was weird. And then, what else happened? And then I guess y'all broke up again. Every other day. And then, um, I was in a relationship with the Puerto Rican guy. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to say the name. Um, and you were saying that y'all were breaking up or whatever. And we all broke up. And we were working on it. But I, I still had like that doubt. Mm-hmm. So... I was like done with my relationship. But you have to see my point. And now I'm like, I'm like, he's got his own little crib or whatever. So I'm coming over there and I'm like, listen, I'm getting ready to move out of where no, I'm You staying. helped me get that crib, that apartment. You went with me, remember? Mm-hmm. To go get it. You helped me. So he got his apartment. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm done with my relationship. Like literally dead ass. No jokes. Like, I'm like, I move all my stuff into your house. Like we can be together. And, and Fonzo was like, no, like, there's somebody else, and, um, you know, I want to be with this person, whatever the case may be, and I'm in my mind, like, what? Like, I'm losing my shit, because I'm like, no fucking way you're going to be with somebody else now, now that it's really you were bad. You are a bad, <laughs> a bad person, because you're like, just break up with him, and you were like, <laughs> and you're like I don't want to be a bad person, I no, want what I want. But then you were like, I'm like, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to be faithful to this, to this person, and like stuff like that, but you like, wasn't being faithful. <laughs> no, mm-hmm. I was because I was still coming. Every time I come, you never told me no. No, <laughs> you would knock on the door, and you was like, you you would say, if I see him, I'm beat him up. <laughs> he was like, he don't want me. You don't want me around him. It's like I'm gonna be with you, and that's just gonna be that. Like you were very like <laughs> persistent and like diminished. So I'm like, it was it was so hard, and to like say no to you, I'm like, oh, okay. And then you just go miss him. No. Then yeah. he 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 told me to. Well, I guess we were getting becoming more um more. I guess like legit because he kept coming from the city over to um to my apartment or whatever. And then he he also, he started buying me <laughs> shit like phones and shit and um stuff like that. And then he came, he was like, oh, you want to move in with me or whatever? And I was like, what? That's a, that's a big step. So for me, it was like what, what we've endured versus mm-hmm. like me not knowing if you're going to go back to that person and stuff like that. So I'm like, why not be with mm-hmm. someone, not necessarily that I know, but someone who I haven't experienced anything yet, like someone who hasn't broke my heart. Mm-hmm. So... I understand now, and I think, honestly, I feel like everything happened for a reason, because yeah. I think maybe if we would have made it work then, we wouldn't be here today with all the BS. So, to fast forward, this was, you know, a few years back now. Four, four, five years. Four or so years ago. Uh, so, fast forward to maybe two years ago, and at this time, I literally left New York. I moved to Texas by myself. I was like, you know, I got to get away from all the drama, all the negative relationships that I have, everything that I feel like is holding me back in life in general. So I moved to Texas, got myself together, um, 
eventually I started speaking with my ex again and my ex moved to Texas. So in my mind, I was like, well, we're going to be away from all of the negativity, all of the past, everything that we've been through and we can make it work. We don't know nobody. It's just us, blah, blah, blah. But one thing that I didn't think about at that time is like, just because, you know, you're in a new place doesn't change the person. So we get to Texas. My ex is still doing the same thing. At this time, I like proposed. We were engaged and they were still doing those same things. So that was like, absolutely. That's it. Like, you got to get out, get out of my house. I don't care where you go. I don't care about anything anymore. Put my ring down and get out of my house. And that was like literally the last straw for me. And I don't know if Fon seen like on Facebook that we broke up or like what it was. Because it just, it was literally like we broke up and then by the time my ex actually moved out, you called me like the next day. I didn't know that. And so I'm I, like, whoa, that's no, weird. No, that's but a before, weird before then, you would, um, I was staying in Dallas. So I moved to Texas before you, right? Yeah, because I was in Dallas. For a few Mind years. you, I didn't know that. Yeah. Me and all of my friends and our friends and our in this in the circle here in Schenectady and the five one eight, we all are like, "Hey, have you heard from Fonzo? Yeah. Last I heard, he was here with this person, or he was there with that person." And you know, people are calling us saying, "Hey, y'all, Fonzo's friends, right? We need y'all to check in because we're worried about him." Hey, my dad. Uh, so my dad messaged one of our mutual friends, uh, stuff like that. So yeah, yeah, because like, they were worried. Like we're thinking like. Is Fonzo even alive? Like, that's how worried and incognito and in the wind Fonzo is. Like, nobody hears from him. He's not responding to nobody. Like, but we're hearing from his ex's friends. Like, y'all need to check on your friend because he might be in danger and, you know, all this craziness. So, speed up to, to what's important is that we, Fonz called, reached out to me from L.A. Now you're in L.A. Yeah, I don't I know how in, that happened. Yeah, I, was but. In LA. <laughs> I was living at Vegas, Las Vegas. He was everywhere. Like yeah, I literally was, stayed. You gotta live your life, and I I like to travel. I like to. Um, at that time, I wanted to. I never been to Vegas, so I was living in Vegas for a little bit. I had my job, a nice job, um, and abusive relationship. And, but mind you, before that, we were talking because I was working at NCH, um, a national chemical chemical company, um. And I was doing, it's like accounting, but, um, so, well, accounts payable. Um, so we were talking a little bit before then, like you would be like, Hey, what's up kid? And I'm like, Oh, Hey, what's up kid? But then I would kind of disappear mm -hmm. <laughs> all the time. <clears throat> and so we just had that kind of relationship of like, Hey, what's up? Hey, what are you doing? Hey, you know, we should link up. Hey, you know, I'm just checking up on you. So we always had that, that kind of love of like wherever we're going to be or wherever you're at well hit him that like I can always like reach out to him for support uh, or if I'm pulling down and stuff like that so that like I will reach out to him sometimes um but because of the relationship I was in I and I'll be like bring that sweet ass here he'll be like no I can't because my boyfriend gotta go bye <laughs> yeah I, he will always try to slide something slick and nasty in there I'm like uh-huh yeah okay so how's how's you know oh okay you're in Texas oh okay that's nice and he was like, why did you respond to And I, I come back and I have like five messages. Like, I missed you. What's up? And it's just, you know, you don't have to, you know, respond to these. But I just, you know, I'm just checking up on you. So, but eventually I got tired of the relationship that I was in, Ooh. you know, the abuse. And <clears throat> I think I was, I was on my way to LA and I talked to our mutual friend and I was like, yeah, I'm just tired of the shit that's going on. I'm, you know, I deserve better and I'm just going to get my life back together. And the route I was going was kind of like a downhill, right? I mean, route, route. And um, I was like, you know what? No, I got to get my myself together. But somehow he was, he was um, saying, oh, have you talked to, uh, to Rich? And I'm like, no. I was like, I was like, I hate him, blah, 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 and like, <laughs> like, just mad, but I was like, yeah, but I do miss him, and like, I wonder, like, what it could have been if we, um, <clears throat> could have worked it out and stuff like that, and he was like, I have his number, you know, you should go ahead and just call him, and, um, I called you, and you're like, who's this? <laughs> and I'm like, Fonzo, he was like, Fonzo, what? 
what are you doing? Why are you calling me? <laughs> well, not like that. I said, like, why are you calling But me? you're like, wow, you're calling like, me? Where the hell you been? Right. Like, this like, is I'm, random. Yeah. And at like, the same time, my mind, I'm like, I just broke up with my ex two days ago. Or maybe a week ago. But he actually is out of my house as of two days ago. And then you call me. So it seemed a little coincidental to me. But <clears throat> for whatever reason it happened, I'm glad it happened. Fonzo reached out and told me, you know, he was in a bad situation and that he was at the airport. And I'm like, at the LA airport. LA yeah, great. I was great, Greyhound. No, you were at the airport. I was at Greyhound, but you helped me with a plane ticket, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he calls me, whatever. And I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, nothing. And I'm like, well, why are you there? Where are you going? And he's just like, I don't know. I'm just here. I don't have nowhere to go. I left my relationship, whatever the case may be. So I'm like, you know. As the friend that I told you that I would always be for you, like, you can come here, you're, you're safe, you have a place to stay, get yourself together, you get a that. job. You better tell it right. What? So, the way, well, yeah, that that's that's true. So, I you did say, it right. and then, but what did you do? You were like, later on, I, I, when we came... You were like, so what's our boundaries? <laughs> you were like, are we friends or what? Can we have sex? Like, I don't want to hurt you. Can we have sex or not? He's like, but we can still be friends. I just don't want you to, you know, catch feelings or whatever. And then I was like, yeah, I guess. And then, or whatever. So you're like, are you going to get an apartment? Or what are we going to do? I don't. I just don't want you leaving. And I want to make sure that you're straight. So I'm yeah, because like, he's the type of person in that situation where he'd be like, oh, I met somebody and I'm moving tomorrow to another state with this person and not who only I don't that, even know their middle name. No, it's not like, only we're that. We're not going to do that. You're going to come here. You're going to get yourself together. You're going to get your own apartment. You're going to have a good job and you're going to get your life on track. So my, and I didn't want to be in a relationship in that moment because I knew that I was just getting out of yeah. this other relationship after four years being engaged and all that stuff. And I'm like, I don't want to do what I did to you before. Like, I need some time <clears throat> to make sure that this is over. I need some time to make sure that I'm in the right mental space to be in a relationship and be a good person for you in a relationship. So I was like, you know, we can't be in a relationship. I don't want you to come here under the pretense that we're going to be together like that. Yeah. And then, um, so yeah, that's what, then, so I was talking about... But I still wanted to have sex. I know that. <laughs> so then after that or whatever, um, I... Woo! That um, was good. I was playing around with... talking though. Because I couldn't find a job or anything. It took me a while. Well, I did find a job, but like the money that they were paying Walmart was not like really worth it. So I was like talking about going to Houston. And you're like, why would you, you know, want to leave or whatever? And I kept mentioning that. I kept mentioning that. And then that's when you're finding, like, you had a whole attitude. <laughs> you had a whole attitude. And I couldn't, like, put my finger on it. I'm like, I'm working. I'm doing this. And I'm doing that. But I, once I mentioned, okay, like, that's not where I want, like, where I want to be at. And, you know, I'm not making good enough money. And I think I, I, I'll be good in Houston. And then that's when you're like, you find it was like, Oh, I thought we was in a relationship. You don't love me. <laughs> I'm like, what? You told me. <laughs> and then you're like, okay. So love was supposed to be moving down. And I heard you in the bathroom. And I guess she was like, so are y'all in a relationship or not? And I heard you say, no, um, but I'm going to help him get on my, like on his feet and, you know, stuff like that. And I was under the impression when I first moved down, down there that we were, you know, working towards, towards that yeah <clears throat> so that kind of like threw me off and like kind of broke my heart and then i was like you know what fuck it then like <laughs> i i'm just gonna just gonna leave i'm gonna find a job somewhere else and like stuff like that so <clears throat> then that's when, then when i started getting to the that process of like i think i need to leave i think i need to you know go find myself and you know go do these other things and that's when you kind of add it to and you're like I thought we were supposed to be in a relationship. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like, you did not say that. You <laughs> specifically said you don't want to be in a relationship. So that's when we, I guess, sat down and like, what are we going to do? Like, what, what is this? And then we're in a relationship. We live together. Everything's going good. So I thought. So to be completely frank, I was cheating. I cheated a few times 
in the what was it maybe a year that since you've been in Texas that we've been together since mm. we started dating. No, I've cheated like a year and a half. Okay, so in that year and a half, I've cheated a couple times, um, and like we talked about it. So what I think my biggest mistake in that 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 position in that time was that. I know Fonzo to be very, very mellow in the sense that, like, he's easygoing. Like, if I mess up, I know you're not going to leave me. I know you're not going to, you know, be super angry or, like, we're not going to be fight angry. Or I, don't, argue I just don't show it. Or any of those things. Right. Yeah. So I know that now. Yeah. But, you know, it was almost one of those situations where it was like, why not do this? Because... I'm not going to get in trouble. You know what I mean? That's almost like the mindset that I have. It's definitely not okay. And I definitely regret all of those dumb things that I did at that time. Um, but Fonzo was carrying like a lot of animosity and hurt and just a lot of things that I didn't know about because I'm very communicative. Like if you do something that makes me angry, you're going to know about it. Like, so we're not going to bed until we so talk I, about this. So I did see something and I did come to you once, but with me coming to you, I didn't really kind of express more on that situation. So we had to talk and you're like, oh, I'm not going to do it again. Or, you know, if that hurts you, I wouldn't do those things. Mm -hmm. So I did see it again. And that's where I, like that kind of hurt me and brought it. And I guess I, with that, you know, I carry a lot of animosity yeah animosity you harbor your feelings I you just it, hold yeah. on to it so every day like we, this is when we were starting our youtube channel like all that stuff like we're making videos having fun i'm like this is this is great whatever the case may be like i'm thinking like the world is ours everything's perfect like we love each other unconditionally and blah blah blah, blah. so fonzo i don't like to fly fonzo's like i want to go see my family in florida and i'm like I don't really want to fly, and it's the middle of COVID, so I'm using that as an excuse. Like, oh, no, no, let's wait, let's wait, let's wait. So finally, he's like, look, I'm booking my ticket. I want to go see my family, whatever case would be. So I'm like, cool. Um, so he plans a trip for, like, three days, and I drop him off at the airport, and then he gets to Florida, and... You finish. I didn't come back. <laughs> <laughs> right. It just left me for dead, y'all. Like, literally. Like I said, the craziest thing to me was that I felt like we were in, like, a good place. Like, I didn't know anything was wrong. Fonzo was not communicating with me. He's not telling me these things. So, I'm thinking everything is fine. Like, I'm dropping him to the airport. I love you. Have a safe trip. Call me when you land. And he did. And then, you know, I call him the next morning after his first night there. And I knew something was wrong because I FaceTime him and he doesn't answer the FaceTime. After I've been calling all morning, I FaceTime. It's now like 10, 11 o'clock. And I'm like, there's no way you're still sleeping. And finally, he answers, or no, he texts me back and says, I was in the water. And I'm looking at my phone. And I'm like, I'm nobody's idiot. You know what I mean? No. You just didn't answer my FaceTime. And then you text me back saying that you were in the water, which means you're not in the water anymore. Why didn't you FaceTime me back? And then yeah, the next morning. he calls and we talk, not on FaceTime, just talking over the phone. And I'm like, why did you just do that? Like, this seems weird, blah, 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 blah. And he just cops a whole attitude. He's like, oh, my God, this is what I'm talking about. You be stressing me out. I can't take this. Da, 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 da. Hangs up the phone. Next thing I know, Facebook's deleted. Instagram's deleted. My number's blocked. My mother's number's blocked. All of our mutual friends is blocked. And I'm like, whoa, this thing just dropped off the face of the earth. And, like, we were just in a whole relationship. And now you're in Florida and, uh, and just blocked me on everything. Like, that was the worst, worst time of my life. Is there any perspective to that that you want to share that's different? No, I think you I definitely on? hit it. I think what it was also <clears throat> a mixture of, like, again, what I was seeing. And, you know, I thought that I shared that with you. But it's like I could have I could have definitely did more on my end. But also that really tore me up. And it was tearing me up. And you, your, your sister came down to visit. And... Um, I, that's when I saw it again, and like we were supposed to go to the, the casino. Yeah, so and you like, said you didn't want to go. Yeah, I didn't want to go, um, and but I did, you know, see those things, and like coming back, I was like, 
like I saw it and then you were like I'll text you and you're like oh I'm asleep or I'm you know this and that but I'll you know see those things and I'm like wow so I don't know it did and I I, I did it's not like keep in mind we we're supposed to go to Florida together so I did want you to go that also did play some you know effective like you know will we be able to travel together and like stuff like that but it wasn't really a big part um <clears throat> but so yeah that happened i don't want to go into too much detail but i think what it was is like i got really fed up and like going back to how we you know met before um and you know with the whole x thing and stuff like that so i don't know i, I don't know i don't know i i wish i could take it back but i really can't you know all you can really do is like you know work on those things and you know um move forward i mean we've, we've learned known from it. yeah we've kn known each other for about almost five years now so if like we're still you know here i think we could you know i can only imagine you know how far we would be but all i could say is like he's made mistakes i've made mistakes we both made mistakes and, just gotta and we learn from the mistakes relationships is built on mistakes you learn each other you grow together you know it is what it is but to finish that that story off so we you know i like had the worst two three weeks of my life you know realizing that i had somebody that i really loved really cared about really felt like was the right person for me and <clears throat> when this happened there was just no explanation no no you know it's one thing to be like you know we're fighting and and things aren't good and then you know, a person ends a relationship and leaves. That's understandable. Like, you got to just deal with that. But how do you deal with when you think everything is fine and then they just disappear, like, out of the blue? Like, literally left all his stuff and was like, just throw it in the trash. I don't want it. I don't care. Wouldn't talk to me on the phone. Wouldn't answer any of my text messages. Anyways. <laughs> so, anyways, long story short, he got out of his messy situation and... I picked him up from the airport and we've been together ever since and what I will say is that I appreciate everything that we went through because it brought us to where we are I recognize how much I love you and cherish this relationship and how much it means to me I understand you as a person more and you know I, I know that I have to be very vigilant about your feelings and, and what's going on in your mind, which is why for the first probably month that you were back, every day I woke up, I was like, Fonzo, how do you feel? Is there something wrong? Is there something you want to tell me? Is there anything bothering you? Is there something you'd like me to change? Is there something I do that you don't, you know, it doesn't make you feel good? Please tell me so I can work on it. Give me the opportunity to fix it. So yeah, I know you better. I know me better. I recognized that at one point I was taking you in this relationship for granted. I uh, recognized at one point I didn't realize how much I valued you in this relationship and how special and important you are to me. So, you know, I don't regret anything that we've been through. It brought us to where we are today. And I'm absolutely happy as I've ever been in this relationship. Me too. And I love you and I'll never do that again. <laughs> Jesus. I love you too, man. So, y'all got the tea. I'm a little tipsy. Yeah. So it all came out, but okay, that's all right. I don't care. You don't like me? Oh, well. <laughs> Yo, shut up. <laughs> but I still love you, though. Okay, we're done. <laughs> no more drinking for me, guys. I'm on a um I'm on a tipsy limit, so I can only get tipsy. I can't get drunk because when I get drunk, it's over. Bad things happen, y'all. I'm I'm not like a bad person when I'm drunk, but like I get really belligerent. I will curse out anybody when I'm drunk. So and you'll call everybody different names out of their names. <laughs> yeah, not bad names, just the wrong names. names. Like I call my mom Tamira, who's my cousin. I love you, TT. I'll call him maybe an ex's name. Or Jer Jer. Or Jer Jer, my little brother. No, you was, you was calling your sister Nana Jer Jer. <laughs> She's like, what? I couldn't see nothing. <laughs> I just know there was a figure in front of me. I'm like, Jer Jer. <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, it's been it. real. Yes. So, we're going to let we gonna let y'all go so I week. can go fight him for this bottle because I'm on some mom. Tell us what you, you guys want us to talk yes. about for our next mukbang. 
Um, but it's been real. The food was really good. Shout out to your aunt, right? Cousin. 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 Shout cousin. out to your cousins. Those plates was off the chain. Mm -hmm. But yeah, up. let us know what you what you guys want us to talk about in our next mukbang. And we moved the time um, for our mukbangs on Monday. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Eastern PM. time. Eastern time. So make sure you stay stay tuned next week. Um, and we're going to get into, we're going to find something else to talk about. We want to hear from you guys. Comment so, below. Comment below. Let us know what you want us to talk about because we'll get into it. Don't make me have to read somebody. Like, tell me, listen, listen. You got somebody you don't like, just tell me their name. I'll go look at their Facebook and I'll, I'll read Anyways, them Anyways, <laughs> it's I'm been real, kidding. folks. We love y'all. Peace.